Alright, here I am. Alright, this particular comment I'm commenting upon is kind of like in the order of like, not too bad actually. I mean, this is not, this is not me like sitting down here and taking a piss out of someone's comment. This is me looking at someone's comment and thinking, yeah, you got some great points, but, you know, and that's that but is not thrown in to be like, I'm right, you're wrong. That but is thrown in to be like, I've got another point of view. So the comment ends with the phrase, it seems to me that using scientific method to look at supernatural phenomena is like trying to hammer a nail in the wall with a wet sponge. It will always fail. Uh, firstly, I'd like to congratulate you on your word picture there. That's, that's brilliant. I like, nice analogy there. But your question earlier on says, I'd like to know how you feel about using the scientific methods for trying to explain supernatural things. Now, you can use the scientific method to look at supernatural phenomena, that's one thing. Using the scientific method to explain supernatural things isn't. Okay, because it's like, like, how should I put this? You can try and look at life in a scientific way. You can try and look at anything using a scientific method. Okay, anyone can do that with a bit of practice and skill and all the rest of that which is what I've try, been trying to encourage people to do on this one particular channel. Trying to think about what your words mean, what the experiences mean, what people say about the experiences, what they really mean, okay? Now, there's a scientific method, which is a method for approaching nature, full stop. And then there's explanations, which are essentially theories, which are uh, the thing which comes before the experiments or the thing which comes after the experiments or a series of experiments, okay? And then there's supernatural things which haven't been properly defined or clarified in a clear and true way. Uh, Dean Radin tried in some respects, in some respects he failed in terms of his like explanation and his thinking in my opinion. Because he's, you know, he's, there's so much which is unknown. If a theoretical framework is created, uh, it's most likely to be wrong. Just like with most things in life, you know, we, we develop a theory, we develop a map of the world which like really we want to hang our beliefs upon, uh, our understanding upon, or what we think is true about weird shit, okay, or about any shit, really. That's where the problems lie, because, like, you could be wrong, all right? You could, like, easily be wrong, no matter what. So there's always more and more questions to be asked and if you've got to carry on asking more questions and we will always be in a position of asking more and more and more questions rather than coming to a finite conclusion. So if you say trying to explain supernatural things, I say don't, all right? I say focus on the experiences that you have and see how far you can get and see what kinds of experiences you can get and what questions it makes you want to ask rather than saying, oh, well, this must explain or this must prove. I mean, proof itself is merely a stage in academic debate. It's not finite. And even a conclusive proof taking into account the knowledge or the science or the wisdom or the whatever it is you have at that time is not totally conclusive because there will be further experiments, further experiences, further this, that and the other, further research, more and more and more and more stuff which will be done, which will challenge the original point of view. Okay? So, it's all a bit weird because no matter where you get there'll always be tons more to learn, there'll be tons more experiences, thoughts, feelings, um, excitement, understanding, and yes, I know it's the winter and I'm letting my hair grow a bit longer at the moment, so I must get it cut because it's looking a bit silly, right? But that's another issue. Part of your comment says, I mean science is the study of matter. No. Okay, it's the study of nature. Uh, then you go on to say, and the laws of physics. Mm, no, it's nature. That's why sociology is a social science. All right. 
The word science just means the search for the truth. It doesn't mean being in a position of having the truth. It doesn't mean that there is only one aspect of the natural world that you look at. I, when I was um, when I was one of these, um, you know, traditional screwed up uh, undergraduates in my what's it, early twenties, uh, I had this time when I actually sat down. I tried to work out what science was, and I was just like drinking lots of strong coffee, just all alone in my little room. Okay, and I sat there and I just like drank tons of coffee. And I smoked lots of cigarettes, because I was obviously still a smoker at the time. And I thought to myself, what the fuck is science? Well, you know, what is it? And I came up with this phrase that the word science is a noun, okay, which stands for something. It stands for methodologies, plural, okay, of investigation into nature in order to try and find out what is most likely to be true under specific circumstances. It's not a statement of fact, because science doesn't, doesn't say facts. Okay? There's, there's, there's no facts in science. All right? There's just what is most likely to be true under specific circumstances. And that's why scientific truths or theories are always evolving and developing over time. So, and that thinking has got to be applied to, you know, spiritual, religious, new age, or cult, whatever ideas as well. You, you just got to do that, otherwise you're, you know, you're going to become a delusional fuckwit who's um, got some ideas that I personally would disagree with. So, so if you remember that science is ways of investigating nature, that means that your, I mean, it's, it, it's not like saying like um, radio waves exist, therefore we can explain everything in terms of radio waves, like people tried to do way, way back in the day when radio was new. Or trying to, I mean, The Matrix Trilogy was, was a great series of films, good fun. But it was just like um, a really shitty martial arts sci-fi that used technology as the explanation for the whole like magical sci-fi world that, that that that's all it really all it really was it was just using an explanation and people who try and use science as in like natural scientific known things i don't know um things from quantum physics or theoretical physics or which which isn't actually known to be quite honest but that that isn't known stuff but you know stuff like that and trying to use that as the explanation for anything Telepathy, precognition, ritual magic, and the rest of that. They're falling into a trap of thinking. Yeah, I'm, yes, I am talking about people like Peter J. Carroll, okay. And was, what was it? Lieber Chaos. They're falling into a trap of thinking of making a big intellectual mistake. Okay, the, the intellectual mistake is that no matter what, they are just using, like, sci-fi science as an explanation for something was something which seems to them to be accurate at the time and which possibly is not. So my take on trying to use natural science analogies to explain supernatural things is it's shitty. I, I suppose occasionally useful by analogy, but also pretty shitty to be quite frank. But science is not the study of matter. Science is is the search for the truth, okay? It's a method of uh, methodologies of analyzing what happens in the world, what happens in nature, what happens in whatever aspect of, of, of nature. And yes, in theory, that could be applied through anti-positivistic methodology to psi-related phenomena. Uh, and if you want to try and hammer a nail into the wall, it's best to use a hammer because like a wet sponge really doesn't work even if you believe it does and there's many people out there who mentally are believing that their their beliefs are so accurate that they are successfully hammering the nail into the wall with their wet sponge and they believe that the nail has gone into the wall when basically they've just got a soggy sponge and a soggy hand and the nail has just fallen down onto the floor subscribe because you know you like what I say.
kind of. <laughs>